Hello, I'm Nick Mason, CEO at Turtle. Welcome to our Summer 2024 Product Showcase. I've been told I've got to get through this in three minutes, so I'm going to jump straight in. We've been really busy over the last nine months, analyzing over 3,000 pieces of customer and user feedback and conducting over 40 very in-depth customer interviews. The goal of that work has been to understand your needs better than ever before. And we've learned a ton of interesting things, loads of great projects in the works. The thing I want to talk to you about today, however, is the creation experience, the project that we're running in that part of the tool. So through that research, we've learned there's five key opportunities for us to deliver an improved, upgraded, better experience there to deliver against our customer and user needs. And those five key pillars that we're working on it is to provide an experience which is faster to use, which is easier to learn, more flexible, more uh, designer friendly, familiar for, for designers coming to the platform for the first time, and which supports a wider range of use cases. We've been busy prototyping, testing, validating, and where we've got to with the final prototype, the one I want to talk about to you about today, is we've said to testers, hey, let's fix the existing edit tools in the platform at a five out of 10, right in the middle of that naught to 10 for the sake of argument. How would you rate these new tools? And we've had very consistent feedback and rating of nine out of 10 for the new improved edit creation experience. Uh, users have said it's pretty much everything they could possibly have hoped for. And one very happy camper said, it's like Canva, but just much nicer. Uh, and I think that's pretty much a ringing endorsement that I'm very happy with. So enough of me trying to describe this to you. Let's peek behind the curtain and have a look at what this actually is. So here we are in the upgraded improved editor. Uh, I'm not going to be able to cover everything in three minutes. In fact, I'm probably going to run over. I just want to share three key highlights that I'm particularly excited about. First of all, we've got an integrated outline at the bottom of the screen. So previously, your surf and immerse pages or chapter and content pages would be split between two different outlines. Here, we've got a single outline, which makes it very easy for me to move between different pages and different sections of my content. Uh, this massively speeds up the learning curve and makes editing much slicker and more intuitive. The other thing that we've added is that uh, your immerse pages or content pages get edited through the same interface as your surf pages. So what I mean is that when I click on a, on a content page, I see the editor here in the left-hand side, uh, same as when I'm editing a chapter or surf page. Uh, and again, this makes the tool much easier to use, much quicker to learn, and generally improves the user experience massively. However, the most exciting change that I want to talk about is the introduction of freeform mode. So normally when you're working in Tursor, you pick one, two, three, four, five columns and you work within that grid. What freeform mode does is turn that on its head. I want to show you how. So here we are. I'm looking at a page. I've got freeform mode turned on. And what I can do, as you can see straight away, is move elements arbitrarily on the page wherever I want. So I can move this image up to the top right hand corner. Uh, I can uh, restructure this. Perhaps I want to make this overlap. But the key point is that I'm genuinely free to create whatever layout uh, and design treatment I want. And this is one of the most requested upgrades uh, to the platform uh, that we've had. So really, really uh, keen and excited to introduce this to the platform. And hopefully through this 30 second demo, you get a little glimpse of what's gonna be possible. But freeform mode doesn't stop there because we're also bringing this to mobile. So if I go into mobile view, uh, it's very easy for me to use some of those freeform concepts to create uh, treatments such as layering. I can overlap this feature box on top of the image. Uh, I can move stuff to the side. And all of this is supporting me in creating a far more varied uh, and um, sort of interesting, you could say, uh, range of treatments and layouts, not just for my landscape content, but also for my mobile content. So that's freeform mode. Really excited to be bringing that to the platform. This is going to be an absolute game changer. Loads of new possibilities becoming, uh, becoming available. But it doesn't stop there. The third thing that I want to highlight is the uh, introduction of navigation options. So everyone will be familiar with our deep reading surf and immerse uh, reading style based on best practice psychology, but it's not always the optimal choice if perhaps you have a shorter document or just a different type of document where you want users to navigate slightly differently. So this is where we're introducing linear navigation mode in addition to our deep reading surf and immerse. So what does linear navigation look like? Well, here we are with our future trends in content marketing 2024. I've turned linear navigation on here. So I turned the first page and this is my chapter page, another trend report. Now, normally there would be a read on button under this title, allowing me to click in and read the deeper content. However, because we've turned linear mode on, I actually access the next piece of content just by clicking next. And this is great. It provides me with more options, allows me to lay content out differently. As I say, really good for um, shorter form content or mid form content. But the great thing about this is that you can mix, mix and match within a single document. So you can have some pages which are linear and other pages which are deep reading. And so that's great, the uh, linear mode for contents pages or for one pages, uh, but you can also mix in deep reading 
as you wish. So that's just some of the highlights of what we are bringing to the platform. I wasn't able to cover everything, obviously limited by time, and I'm aware I've massively ran over the three minutes, but there's just too much good stuff to share. So there's so much in this release, really exciting. It's gonna be in our Green Sea release, which is coming, we believe, at the end of September, named after the Green Sea Turtle, which is one of the most uh, elegant and fast swimming uh, turtles in the sea. Hopefully you can see the connection there with this release, which makes our editor far more elegant and fast to use. So there we go. Thank you so much for the taking, taking all the time. Sorry for running over the three minutes. Hopefully you're ex as excited about some of those changes as I am. If you want more information, please do get in touch through the ways mentioned on the screen and look forward to getting this into your hands as soon as possible.